Okay, uh, Iron Bowl week. Um, obviously, playing playing Alabama, a very impressive team. Uh, when you look at them offensively, they're the number three team in the country offensively, which really stands out to me. You know, playing in this league against the defenses that they face is very impressive. Their quarterbacks playing at extremely high level, uh, protecting the football. Um, you know, throwing the football. They also have one of the better quarterbacks um, in the country as a backup. Uh, then you look at them running the football. They're very impressive with their yards per carry. They do a good job in the run game. So they present a lot of challenges trying to take one of the two away. Defensively, uh, I believe they're number seven in the country defensively. They got a very good front. Um, number 92 is playing at an extremely high level. Uh, he's very concerning in the run game. Uh, probably even more concerning in the pass game. Does a good job of getting pressure up front. Uh, that's what really stands out to me. They're back in. They got a lot of speed, like normal. You look at their special teams, and um, you know they've got electric returners. You know in the punt return game and the kickoff uh, return game. So it'll be a big challenge, but we're we're definitely looking forward to it. Uh, update: um, Nick Cole will play. Uh, he's been cleared to play, and we expect all our guys to be ready to play. Questions? Uh, there'll be some kind of apparatus that he'll have to wear. Uh, how important is it just to have him and then, yeah. I guess, as an entire group to be able to get pressure on them? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, Nick Cole's one of the, the better defensive linemen in our league, and to have him out there in his presence is, is really big, especially playing um, you know, against an offense like this that presents the challenges that they present. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it means it means a whole lot. Um, we do have a bunch of players that played last year. Uh, you know, anytime you play the Iron Bowl, it, you know, really it stands out to me. It's a physical test on both sides, and uh, it's football at its highest. And uh, the fact that we got a lot of guys that have been a part, it does nothing but help us this year, especially going on the road. Yeah, um, it's a challenging place to play. Um, you know, obviously we won in 2010. Um, you know, 2014 was a shootout. We came up a little short, but you got to play good football. I mean, you got to play good, clean football uh, to have a chance to win. Um, you know, you got to make plays on offense. Uh, they make you earn it. You're going to have to have some one-on-one -on -one situations. You make plays, and then defensively, you just got to do a good job keeping them out of the end zone. I mean, they're they're explosive on offense, and they they can move the football. And special teams, um, you know, we've got to win the special teams battle too. So, you know, to have a chance to win, that's what you got to do, you know, at a place like uh, playing there. How much did a win against Alabama kind of help with momentum moving forward as a bowl season? Of course oh, yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd be huge. I mean, anytime you, know, you play the Iron Bowl and, and, you, and you win, I mean, that's big on both sides. So, uh, that'd be huge. Well, first of all, they've had a lot of really, really good teams, okay? I think that's the first thing. I mean, you look at statistically what they've done is very impressive, especially in our league. Um, on the offense being in the top ten, the country and defensive statistically being in the top ten, you know, that's what really, you know, stands out to you. Uh, you never know until you play someone to answer that question correctly, but uh, they're a challenging team, there's no doubt. Uh, they're good in all three phases. Yeah. Here for a while. yeah. Did you guys see him being this good? When well, I mean, you, you know, you, you know that a uh, guy's got talent, you know, when you recruit someone. But uh, he's playing at an extremely high level. Um, he's very impressive to watch. Uh, and like I said, not just stopping the run and coming off blocks and being athletic to make plays, but he disrupts stuff in the passing game. And, you know, any time that a uh, defense can get pressure up the middle, that changes things, and he's consistently done that, uh, even when he's been uh, double teamed. Um, he's got a he's got a gift. To run on Alabama, you're going to have your most physical game up front. Of your offensive line. Yeah. How do you get them to kind of raise their level as far as? Well, you just said it. You got to raise your level in this game. 
Uh, you got to raise your level, and you got to find a way to get it done, and you got to be balanced to have a chance to beat them. And uh, like I said we we know each other very well, and uh, we we know what we got to be able to do. But you got to do it. You got to raise your level uh, to be able to do it. Is Libby with Love making progress with his action? Yes, he's healthy. He's healthy and ready to go. Full speed. He's full speed. Uh, how, how much have you seen? I guess the offensive line come together a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think since we made that move back, a little more stability uh, there. You've seen them continue to grow. The last two weeks, I think they played good football. Um, you know, so that's encouraging getting better. What have you seen from the Well, he extends plays very well. And, um, you know, when things aren't within the normal timing, you know, he's really, really good. Um, Good rolling out, creating things. His ball placement um, when he's under pressure is, is really good, and, and he can beat you with his feet too. You know, he's not just a thrower, so um, he's got a unique skill set. He's very impressive to watch on film. How different is it to your defensive staff compared to your defensive team? Just in a different style. Any time you got a different quarterback, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you got to prepare differently for different kind of quarterbacks. Uh, you know, they presented a lot of challenges last year, too. Uh, it's just kind of different this year. But, you know, I said both those quarterbacks they have. I mean, you know, their backup took them to the national championship against Clemson and did everything he could to win the game. So they got two outstanding guys. You mentioned, though, the, that because of the thing, way they do things now, they'll call anything at any time. How difficult is that as a defense when you have an offense? Yeah, yeah, you can tell that, uh, you know, they, they – um, Feel like they can call anything and he'll make it right, and, and most time he does it. Does he compare to any quarterback you've gone to? I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said I probably can answer that question better after we play him. You know, you watch him on film, you're impressed, though. So. You know, from the outside looking in, not, not a lot of folks give you guys a chance to, to win at Alabama. I mean, yeah. Your closest game's been 22 points in the SEC. Yeah. Margin of victory. Do you bring that up to your players that, hey, no one's expecting you to go in there and win? You, you know, the, you know, this is Auburn, and um, it's Iron Bowl. We don't have to bring anything up. Um, this is a game that our guys look forward to. Their guys look forward to. Um, you know, I don't know when we have beat them the last two times. We probably weren't the favorite. So, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. How much is Jarrett? How much grown and everything? And how much is his play improved? Yeah, I, I think you've seen him uh, consistently get better. And uh, he's protecting the football. And, you know, the great thing he got with, with Jared is, you know, he played extremely well in this game last year. And, um, you know, so he kind of knows what he's getting into. And I think that's very important, too. As you mentioned 2014, but games like that, how important are you, you mentioned big plays all the time? Yeah. But especially because it's tough to drive. Yeah. Big play, how important are big plays? Yeah, you, you got to have big plays. If you're going to, if we're going to have a chance to beat them, we have to have big plays. Uh, whether it's run game, pass game, doesn't matter. I mean, that's. That's the formula, you know, and you've got to be good on third down. And last year we were really good on third down, and that uh, was a big difference. And, uh, you know, that'll be a big key third down and keeping drives uh, alive and giving us more opportunities. That's going to be a big key. What do you feel like the biggest issue has been on third down, even, even last year? Yeah, uh, it's not just one thing. Um, you know, I'd say sometimes it may be youth at a certain position or whatever, but, um, you know, we've had some opportunities we just hadn't converted. But I will say this, we've been a lot closer than the numbers probably uh, dictate. And this needs to be a game where where we have conversions. Just quite off topic, but I was just wondering about like the, the status of Eli Stove and what the plan is. For yeah, so Eli's been practicing, um, and he is available, um, you know, if needed. But he's been practicing well. And... Uh, so we'll just we'll see. So there's really no update other than, I guess, the last time a month ago. So he'll make a trip and dress out. Yes, he will, and, and I think he's dressed out every every game and has been able to play if needed. I know this is the last game of the season, but obviously time is winding down for this team's class. What can you say about them and you know maybe some specific guys like Sean Davis, mm -hmm. Jared, that you thought just really made an impact in the game? Yeah, they've um, their leadership. Um, their characters, what stands out to me, this hadn't been the easiest year, and the leadership has helped us get through this. Um, and like I said, those seniors have meant a lot to our program, 
Uh, this is their last Iron Bowl, and uh, I know they're going to be fighting their guts out. All right. Thank you all.